Hi, Thirsty friends! Welcome to Season 2 of Thirsty and Thirty, a blind thing, the blind chat show on Smarter Love. Hi guys, I am Bea. So, Sharon and I have made the mistake so that we don't actually have to. And we are your researchers um, in the last season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So guys, tonight we are not live again, but we have two special guests with us. We have Robbie Dobingo and our dear friend and high school classmate, Mikey Pineda. What is your go-to Landy move? Oh, wow. <laughs> straight into it, Chai. Just straight, like not I even know. warm them up. Sharpshooter. <laughs> what's what's Landy? I don't know what Landy is. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I just know what love is, but not Lande. Wow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, like a what a wing. catch. What a catch. If my type come from afar, do you guys do like a wink? Or what's your, how do you start a conversation? How do you, I won't fall. But yeah, Ika, what's your example? No, I think I say this all the time. I'm a long, long term, like Lande. I always give like books to people that I like, which is so crazy. But if they read it, it means that we're going to connect. And then mm. it becomes like this immediately deep connection. But but my shallow landy move is definitely um you mga pa look look lang. Uh, okay. <laughs> look look I don't know. I haven't been in a bar in a while or a public place. I you can only look through Zoom, right? And there's only one way to look. I, um, yeah. wait, wait. I have to one time though I tried to make Lande um a classmate of mine in a writing program. So I, I organized a fake interview so I can write an article about him because he was just so hot. And then I no, sent a screenshot to Sherry. Yeah, yeah, and you could see my whole face was red. Wow. The effort, the effort and bookworm lande. <laughs> High investment si Bea maglande. May purchase pa lang book and pamilya. I know. Oh, oh, I put the work <laughs> in. I'm a catch. Actually, I can, I can relate uh, with you. Uh, siguro to the point na foodie lande ako eh. Okay. Foodie lande. I would, I would send food all the time. Um, siguro yeah. through dates. I think that's one of the most memorable things about our date with Mikey. So, um, nalandi ko siya. Wow. <laughs> because <laughs> of um, that certain Japanese date, and uh, I was trying to, uh, you know, give that certain exp- uh, an impression na okay, you just order anything you want. And knowing Mikey, <laughs> coming from Poveda, medyo mahiyain, dapat compost it. <laughs> eh, no, order anything. Eh, bahala ka na. I ordered everything, including a sushi boat. Good for like oh. eight, eight people. We're only two. Uh... But we're only wow. two. Wow. I like and that. She finished everything. Grabe. Wow. <laughs> Do you like that, Robbie? A girl who can eat? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Kaya mga pagsabayan. Oh, you know how some boys are like, she's so takaw. But then some boys like that. But what? Like, but, 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 the boys out there, she's so takaw. <laughs> I don't know. I I didn't finish it yet. Uh, but because he ordered a sushi boat plus other meals, so that's like a sushi boat good for four people. And then there's a tempura, there's rice. So I didn't finish it. But I think if it wasn't our first date or our, if I wasn't nervous, I probably would have finished it. <laughs> Yo, Mikey, you, I got I'm nervous. <laughs> What's your? Because you're you've always been kind of the uh, mind the hint more type. feminine. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what my blandy would a smile count? Yeah. Oh my god. Like a akin my smile, mga look away and look sweet. I would feel bad. Why? Why? You're you're you're, you're smiling smile all the everyone. time. <laughs> Hindi ka pala special. Super lalanti pala dati. Ako, ako lang yung may smile lang gano'n. Every day pala. A smile. Okay. So, Robbie, do you agree? Was that the, dun ka ba naakit with a smile? Not just eh. Wow. 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 What was who? Hmm. She is Miss Consistent. What's Miss Consistent? Wow, I like that. Wow. 
<laughs> galing, galing. Akala ko, it only applies to guys na dapat Mr. Consistent. But but um, every day when I when we message each other, especially before, gulat ako na, okay, she has that pleasant pleasant reply all the time. <laughs> Alam mo, I've heard this like before na if there's something na nakaka in love, it's consistent. A consistent person. Wow, mm-hmm. okay. To Never gonna rin again, ha? Never ka pa rin. I don't know. <laughs> <Malipa rin. laughs> she called me Miss Consistent. Mm-hmm. But good to know. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Why, why, why are you smiling? I'm smiling. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Tumayan hands, smile. Okay, kaka-start pa lang natin, nakikilig na ako. Every time we have couples on the show, I swear, I tell Shari, like, nakaka-inget, but it's also motivating to find something very similar to to that, or at least find kind of the good rapport, or like that consistency. I think a lot of people struggle with finding someone consistent, bigla na lang nag-ghost or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, Before we dive into kind of your story and mas mainggit pa kami ni Shari, we'll start it out with a little game and you want to know a couple things about the two of you. So, I'll start off. Who is more matakaw? It depends. Um... <laughs> if it's just the two of us, um, yeah. I think me. Yeah. But if there's a party, oh. it's, it's her because I don't get to eat. Uh, he never okay. whenever I invite him to family dinners or dinners with friends he never ends up eating <laughs> why <laughs> shy he, eater no he's just talking non-stop <laughs> oh. so whoever is with us during dinner or lunch I think there's an event eh. so you know, yeah, we have most. to keep the conversation <laughs> going oh how are you how are you <laughs> I have to okay. remind them always, there's food, you know, you should eat first, stop talking. <laughs> Game on palagi. Okay, next one. Who is more masungit? <gasps> Him. Or... Me? <laughs> Actually, no. I don't know. Me? Am I masungit? <laughs> I don't think I'm really masungit though. I no, no. Like, I just get quiet. So I don't, I don't count it as masungit. It's so, like, siguro, si um, si Robbie. Yeah, I, I would accept that one. Mas masungit ako. Okay. Okay, ito, I'm always curious. Who is more matampuhin? Parang pareho lang. I think si Mikey. Is it me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's why we have a, a signal already, and a friend of ours actually mm. told Mikey, na, Mikey, you have to let what? Robbie know how how you feel all the time. So whenever I call her up to make her smile, I would say, Hi, Mikey, video call. Hi, Mikey, how are you? Okay, um, love, 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 love. <laughs> to send all the love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Does it work? Get to work. Get to work. Aww. Tapat talaga mga malambing at mabayat, consistent. Yan ang mga dapat tinahanap, no? <laughs> okay. Here, here. Who is more vain? More okay. ma-art. Oh, <laughs> bilis. Yeah. <laughs> more ma-art. No. <laughs> so clear. <laughs> yep, okay. Uh, yep. It's for sure. Okay. <laughs> Who made the first move? Okay, this is a long story. There, there are, there, there are. No, you. There, <laughs> so I guess it's my there kid. Is, there is a story behind it, so I wouldn't say it's the first move, but mm-hmm. it is. It was me who who texted okay. first. Okay. Oh, okay, I we love can that. we can dive we can dive into this later, Mikey. So the answer okay, for now is fine. it's you. Who I, is more? <laughs> who is more malambing? Me. Mikey, especially with her voice. Oh, oh man, man. How can you not? <laughs> I would always um, say this um, to everyone. Whenever she says hi to me in the morning, it just completes my day. Agad, agad. Cute especially, especially with that certain voice. Parang, oh, yeah. huh? Thank you, Lord. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. I think I'm just gonna say wow. My buzzword for this for this show is wow. Um. Okay. Who said I love you? Tell him. I think. I think it was me. I think. Was it you? No. Okay. Okay. Confirm. Confirm. Hey, no one was telling us. Um, Angelica, when she was on our show, she was talking about how Mo Twister or guys, when you finally get the girl, whether you become boyfriend, girlfriend, or married, sometimes the story changes now on who made the first move, who said I love you first. Sometimes it gets twisted already to the other side. But for who said I love you first, obviously, well, okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> putting it They're both in <laughs> okay. okay. So on. let's start with the first question. Let's dive in. How did you two meet? Well, we met in a uh, Christmas party in 2017. But of course, Robbie and I were batchmates in Ateneo. So we kind of knew of each other, but we weren't really like friends. Maybe more of an acquaintance through his blockmate, which was Kay. Kay was his blockmate. <laughs> Unfortunately for Kay. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember though, I, we both don't remember how we met in college, but we just knew of each other, so when we'd see each other, we'd say hi and all that. And then, so it was Christmas in 2017, and usually I would go to that party with Sammy, uh, my, my twin sister, but she was living in Hong Kong then, so I was alone. <laughs> I was alone, my friends were there, I knew some people. Um, but they left early, so I was like, oh, I don't really know anyone here, and, and you know, I'm still staying longer, and then I see Robbie, so I was like, okay, uh, we know each other, so we said hi to each other, and then <laughs> we, we ended up talking for like, how long, from like, it was like around 1am in the morning, until? Until maybe like 4, 4 a.m. <laughs> I think around 5. Mm -hmm. Almost 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. So it was nice, it was fun. But okay, we know this is this I think this counts as a first move. You were the one who asked for my number. Doesn't that count as a first move? No, no, because I had different intentions back then. So what was the okay. intention? No. Your real, real <laughs> intention. So, no no no. Okay. To explain my side. <laughs> I got my legal counsel right here. Okay. Um <laughs> Parang, not not parang pala. This is the truth, no? Mm. I always see Mikey and Sammy during the, uh, what do you call this? ABS-CBN Christmas party or parties. And then uh, 2018, that was the time na... 2017. 2017, 2017, sorry. <laughs> that was the time na I was, I was single, okay? And then, I was just so surprised because I, I saw oh, one half of the of the twins right there see Mikey so I asked her two questions where's your uh, other half and then she said oi uh, nasa Hong Kong mm -hmm. and then the second question is oh how's your um, better half because I know she was with someone uh, during the previous years No, I, I got to ask her that one he said uh, wala na kami he said okay but my okay was like, not okay now. Oh, okay. Mm. It was more of, <laughs> it was more of, okay. Uh, I want you to experience what I have experienced the whole year. Because hey, that was like a wacky yeah. year for me. Mm. Uh, I just want her to experience, yung yung ano being uh, being kind of drunk. Tapos pupunta ka sa table and dance your <laughs> your <Yeah>. sadness away. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> It's a wild young year, na yun, but it was a fun year for me. So I got her number because I know a place in Katipunan na parang ganun yung feels. So that was my intention to make her, you know, uh, pakawala. Pero there wasn't yeah. any like, oh, the type ko siya. That's why I'm gonna ask for her number. Mm, well, <laughs> type niya si Piolo. <laughs> Not naman kami type of Piolo, pero ikaw type of Piolo. That's universal. That's yeah. the type of si Piolo. I know. Oh, there, they will prove is that the first move. Huh? You're asking for my number. Ah. That was yeah, not well, the first move. That was not the first move. the first move. So really, there was no intention other than you want to do a something no. friendly lang. No, not really. Wow. But wait, I want to know. I, I enjoyed her company kasi... Okay. Um, the titos and titas of ABS-CBN, the bosses, they were like 
ano na eh, parang, you know, with your friends na, uy, uy, yung pinipair na. Tapos, we, that's why one of the songs na, uh, if there's a theme song ng buhay namin, it's, awitin mo at isasayo ko. Because that was the first dance we had. Which he asked. Dance, so that's all. Awesome. <laughs> Mikey, you're pushing me. I want to know. I want to know the text message, though. Since Mikey, you texted okay, first. Okay, yeah. What's the text? Okay, but it was. Aba <laughs> novela. No, it wasn't. It was a choose. It was a Tuesday night when that happened. So there, I had work the next day. Uh, and yes. I, yeah. I remember I had to go to work by eight o'clock in the morning. I had to be at work eight, so I was pretty awake early. I barely slept. <laughs> I barely slept, and I was awake now by six or seven, and I went to work. And then him, of course, he's fast asleep. So me coming from from like working in corporate, working in sales, you know, you kind of want to build networks, and you want to be alive. <laughs> I know that. I know. My go. Client, ako client. <laughs> With a bent hand, with a bent hand, kapala. So, bang mga no ng insurance? I mean, like I, I enjoyed his company, so you know, I wanted to acknowledge the man that like um, he he got my number. So I was like, I texted him like, um, nice seeing you last night. Um, or, it was fun or like enjoy enjoy life basically. Super short lang, like that short. Love it. And I, <laughs> I was, I texted that in the morning, and of course he only replied like at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So just <laughs> because I was awake early and I was being polite. Fair, Mikey. My follow-up question is: Were you just being polite and trying to network, or type <laughs> of I was honestly just being polite and like just <gasps> saying that oh, it was fun. I really had no idea. Like when when everyone was teasing, I was like, huh. Where did that come from? I'm like, no, not really. I didn't. I didn't see anything, honestly. I was just enjoying. <laughs> but I actually saw the message at around 10 a.m. and then I replied at 1:30. Mga ganyan. Para, wala lang. Wala ako text ha. Baka maattach ka sa akin. Later na reply. Grab eh. <laughs> So since you guys weren't clearly parent, it wasn't like automatic that it was romantic. When did it start that you felt like my something? I when think we went out. I think yes, during a um, yung poblacion na yan sa Makati, nakaka ano yan na nakaka develop ng relationship din pala yan. <laughs> yeah. So we would. Uh, well, that was the time that it was like you, Bea. You made that certain interview, right? Oh yeah, for yeah. Your, Did you? For your yes, crush. Yeah. Me, yeah. Uh, so the story of that uh, one-year pakawala uh, phase in my life was, I partnered up with a friend, and uh, we got a bar in Katipunan. Okay. Kaya I had the audacity to, you know, just you know, just party, party. Mm-hmm. With with college students, imagine me. Late bloomer. And then I told my my friend, na my business partner, um, can we make like a market study in Poblacion so that we can visit this friend of mine my and uh, uh, to uh, to invite her and uh, just let her know uh, to to ask her about the certain uh, the parang. Uh, niche of uh, publishon wow target market <laughs> mga ganyan ano ba yung yes no strategic ka uh, oh yes. <laughs> we're, we're prepared we're prepared for that and yeah. my my group was there with me okay, I was like oh grab full support barkada and then I just invited her she said yes so our I think the first date actually was in what's that um, Japanese uh, bar Bye. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like. So I think that would be the first move, right? Yeah, because it was a market study. <laughs> that's a move. It's a move. It Uh-oh, doesn't even have to move. be a move. That's a massive move. Uh-oh, that's <laughs> a big move. <laughs> no, at least it's the I biggest move. I think Mike move. gave me the biggest. first move, but I think yeah, Robbie yeah. did the full-on in-depth um, the big 
Yeah, Not that one, that one, one I acknowledge. <laughs> I acknowledge that one. Kasi after that, um, nagtapos na kami ng mga dates namin. Weird, ng mga 5 a.m. <laughs> Yeah. Four or five a.m. Uh, and ano at tequila in our system. Tapos mayroon pa siyang work the next day. Wow, Mikey. Yeah. That's Mikey. Na- <laughs> oh, wow, well, well, busy. I was in public shot a lot. <laughs> I mean, you look wow. okay. <laughs> But Mikey, on that first like that market study, did medyo na type mo na si Robbie like? Do you know what I mean? Or do you just think it's a market study? <laughs> when he asked me, well, at that time, of course, I thought it was like legit market study. <laughs> but, but when he asked <laughs> me, <laughs> and, then, uh, and his friends were there, of course, I didn't know them, but I was like, okay, game, I can see you. Since I was going to Poblacion also that same night to see um, Steph Maceda, to see, to see okay. my friend from the States. He was there, so I was thinking, okay, I can like hang with them first. If I get yeah. like awkward or weird, I can just go to my friends. Yeah. So I did that. I joined them, and then I saw my friends after. But I, I did enjoy um, spending time with him and his friends. So I would like go back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> so from from my friends to him friends him and then he ended up joining where my friends were and then ordered a bottle of tequila and <laughs> that's it that's good <laughs> tequila's always that's good a, that's a that's a brave move uh, jumping into a group friend thing by with yourself tequila. Robbie with tequila well, well at, at least um it could go either way diba right? if Mm-mm. that that certain move was successful it'd be okay if not they, you enjoyed that tequila with your friends. <laughs> yeah, true. I love that. Um, but think, thinking about your relationship, what is the sweetest thing you've both done for each other? But I want to say I appreciate the the little grand gestures. Like for mm-hmm. example, um, when I went to New York, she was there first day. Mm-hmm. Or was it Singapore? But lahat, lahat airport scenes. Uh, you know, yung mga movies na hmm. yung may talon? Oh, may, may ganun. May ganun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> parang cute! Dali. Tapos, naghihintay lang siya doon sa arrival. Like, wow! VIP? That's nice! <laughs> yeah, I like so, it. I find that super cute. That's like, super cute. Kung <laughs> may sumundo sa airport sa akin at walang sign, magagalit ako. <laughs> <laughs> Naso na yung sign. Oh, oh. <laughs> So jumping back to that first conversation you guys had in the ABS-CBN Christmas party, you said, what was your first impressions of each other? You want to know the first, mm. the very first serious conversation we've had? Yeah. <laughs> it was about, um, I don't know, it was about a breakup, that, that uh, potential breakup of mine. And she was there. She was actually giving me advice. This was oh. the year. This was actually the year before. So we met again the year before in 2016. Same party. Mm. Um, and then he was parang going through something. So I saw him, but he was he had a lot of alcohol already by that time. So he started like sharing all these things with me. And I was like, you know, what? just giving advice. I have no idea what's going on because I haven't seen him in like or even spoken to him really in like years. So mm-hmm. I was just trying to help him, and then, but that's it. Like it ended there. He, I, I think he woke up the next day not remembering anything. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and then for me, the next day I was like, okay. I mean, but it's, it's just, I didn't even like bother to contact him or following him or whatever. It's just like okay, I just helped him for one night and that's it. <laughs> but and so- I did not believe her at all. Na nag-usap kami. Yeah, he didn't. Until. Her. Until um, she sent me a video of um, mm-hmm. our conversation together with Sammy, mm-hmm. her twin, and um, Samuel B. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Mikey felt bad because he was assigned to me. He was not Samuel B. He was not Samuel B. Okay, I'll take care. <laughs> So the first impression, it was good, the man. You guys liked each other off the get go, even if Robbie was drunk and you were listening. Yeah, like um, for some reason, it was super easy to talk to him. Uh, 
yeah. I've always known that he was a nice guy, so that wasn't really anything. But I didn't, I, I've never really spoken to him, so it was nice that. Well, yeah, maybe he, was, he drank lots, so he was sharing with me stuff. But it was nice. It was a, it was an easy conversation. That's why the year after it felt. Well, on my end, because I remembered everything. On my end, I thought like it was, it was comfortable. Now it's like, oh, okay, you shared last year. You were maybe gonna break up. So, this so that's year, why. Oh, I broke up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went through. So you're yeah, connected then. Uh, okay, so, give me yeah. give some open advice. It's my turn to really yeah. not not take care, no man, but to give you that it's experience. Yeah. Yeah, I'm oh, curious yeah. about the whole breakup situation because you both went through breakups, and um, consecutive years, right? Consecutive or? Um, yeah, the same. What was your advice to each other? I think Robbie, you said na Mikey should dance on a table, or at least yeah. not, yeah. not literally, but maybe enjoy life. Mikey, what was your advice to Robbie? No, no literally. <laughs> he went literally. literally. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I bet you, man. I want to see. I bet you, man. At that time, though, he was already like a year from the breakup. Yeah. So he was not really like, oh, my, the one before. What yeah, yeah, the one in the show when he was drunk. Do you remember your advice? Because people go through yeah. this and they always have a hard time with breakups. I mean, who? I haven't met anyone who's gone through a breakup na parang. Yeah. Unless... <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, unless they've been trying to get over it. I think I was just telling him to um, also take care of himself, look after okay. himself, um, especially with his, I guess, work. I think he was mm-hmm. sharing that, like he didn't really experience the college life compared to like yeah. at the nail with us. So I said, you know, why don't you also try to enjoy and <laughs> so take care of yourself for one. Robbie remembered something. What? <laughs> no, so so maybe that's why. I, I did why you all did. of those things. Subconscious. <laughs> 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 Subconscious. Oh so I'm one was telling you. Sure. <laughs> oh, I love. No, but um, uh, for my end, that was uh, 2017 was my serious conversation with uh, Mikey. Mm-hmm. And then uh, what I felt was, parang, it, honestly, no, Ateneo boys, takot kami sa povedans kasi medyo ano eh. <laughs> My my certain level of uy, bukod sa English, my, my <laughs> certain level of a uh, standard yan. So uh, natatreten ako na oh, pero the walls uh, came down when uh, we were discussing about anything and everything about life. Tapos yun nga, uh, I I don't dance at all with people. Nas naging naging prom. <laughs> Thank you. prom big la. Okay. And I do have a video. Surprisingly, someone caught it on video. That first mm-hmm. dance from that night. That's so good that you guys have I'm that copy. Keep that. I know. I said like it came. It only someone only sent to me this year. So imagine it's been in that person's phone for the past four years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And then they. You know we it. heard. We heard the same thing. Who are we interviewing? Bianca King, and then somebody like sent mm. a photo of in her a and her. Of, um, Pisa Calzado. Yeah, yeah, her and her hus- mm. now husband dancing husband. also. Yeah. yeah. I remember the video. I think, I-, I think no. Mikey was talking to Piolo. I know. And then I came along, and then I pulled her. God <laughs> block. <laughs> then you look disappointed. You're like, I know this. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. <laughs> We're gonna die. I don't know. It's either Sam Milby or Piolo Sana. Hola, you're Robbie stuck with me. You. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> and then oh, he was like, Yeah, yeah, no, look, he's asking you to dance. So I'm like, Okay, I'll listen to Papa. <laughs> <laughs> so, potential client and charity pala ako. But somehow it worked. <laughs> okay, Robbie, don't forget. Yeah, she texted you oh, first. I don't mind. Oh, she texted you first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That means you're the next Papa P. You're the next. Yeah. Kau. Oh, yeah. Pero the next din si Papa P for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like you text Papa P first. Iba yung first time. Ano? May number din Papa P. No, no, no. Robbie naman. Okay. <laughs> I was being nice. Oh, I know. 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's I know what was the biggest hurdle in the beginning of your relationship? Um I think him being who he is <laughs> in his line of work with the publicity and the I guess fan of him with his previous um, girlfriend. So I think that was the hardest because a lot of people would make comments and I wasn't used to it or I'm not really used to any of that whole public life but we've, we've managed to like deal with it in a very smart and patient way <laughs> but so, it, it took a while it took a while it was not easy at all. what was yeah, your strategy um <laughs> at the start i think we just decided to keep it between us first of mm. course not really like i wasn't really it wasn't really a big thing until we were seen in an event which mm. to be honest i i chose to attend he asked me mm. if i wanted to attend um, oh is that the block screening yeah the, it was yeah. a movie premiere <laughs> um <laughs> of course me i <laughs> the thing is i love watching movies so when you say movie premiere that's like free movie and i get to watch it early earlier than <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's hard for me to say no, but um, so that was the very first like public, uh, I guess, sighting or something. I mean, we go yeah. out in dinners and restaurants, but not people, not many people make a big deal about it. So there, of course, there's press, there's uh, reporters. So I just had to maybe prepare myself for whatever was going to happen, but I actually had no idea what was going to happen, so I just did it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then the next day or the next few days, it was like in fashion police. People were posting stuff on YouTube, Twitter, all over social media. But thankfully, nothing bad. So it was nothing really like bad about mm-hmm. me. I guess more of just like, oh, there's someone. <laughs> yeah. So, Did you ever get a bad comment? Oh, yeah. I, I've, I've read, I have this habit of reading comments, <laughs> so I've read <laughs> everything, the good and the bad. <laughs> yeah. So there were there were several bad comments. Was there one that really kind of affected you or no naman? There, the others, most of it was usually like comparing me to, to someone, to his past and then yeah. the, the other weird ones, which were also very hurtful, it's like I look like his tita. I look like his mom. <laughs> no, yeah, whatever. How is, this, how is that possible? <laughs> I don't think I look like yeah. his mom. Um, no. So there were, yeah, there were mom, those stuff. Like, you're not pretty, or you look like a tita. You look, you look like his mom. You're too old. You look too old. So there was a lot of so, that. Sometimes, but you get tempted to just like grab your phone and then reply like, "Hoy, shut up." <laughs> <laughs> Not or, me, but maybe my friends have my friends. Um, mm, or the ones okay. Who would be more, but me and no, it's okay. Because actually, when I see like bad comments like that, if I see at least one good comment or someone like at least defending me or saying something, um, then I feel better already. Wearing that helps already, knowing that at least one person's there defending me and yeah. she doesn't even know me too. So to balance mm. it out. Then I got used to it after a while, like, thinking that people will just say what they want to say, even if it's not true. <laughs> so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. So, Robbie, did you feel the need to be extra protective because you know that you're in the public eye, Mikey's a private person? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Uh, I was there to reassure her all the time that um, there would always be people who would uh, just comment something negative and uh, yeah. they won't think about your feelings maybe because um they're trying to protect their egos or their idols egos or they're being paid so just, mm. just like <laughs> uh, um it won't affect you naman at all physically and mentally if you avoid but knowing mikey <laughs> wala. all the all the tweets all the comments been about yeah but hey, it made her. It made us stronger. 
yeah. yeah. I think it, it, I think it did. It was, it was good to do uh, at least experience it all and then move from more move forward from it. Yeah. So. Yeah, you get a thicker skin, definitely. And Robbie, do you get used to the questions? I mean, you do read like a lot of the showbiz like questions that they really grill you. Do you get used to them or not yet? N- not ever. I would just say friends, lang kami. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> showbiz. Showbiz. We're, we're, we're friends. No. Um. Special. You know, say I don't have to. I don't have to protect a certain image because I don't act, I don't get paired with anyone or I don't have that certain love team or tandem. Yeah. So I'm I'm safe. Um, I'm just honest, and uh, well, I, my my life can be an open book, but in that certain chapter, which is the Mikey Pineda, Robbie Domingo kind of chapter, that remains private for us yeah if you had a celebrity couple name what would it be oh <laughs> wow <laughs> I, I was thinking uh, something na that that would involve our names kaso lang medyo negative siya ngayon eh ano Ay. Rocky oh okay pass na baka masira na baka masira baka juju sa relationship niyo I know <laughs> that is not a good. I mean, you would be trending all the time, all the especially time. for oh. things. You definitely, um, yes, you could just bandwagon on that, um, mm-hmm. that circus. <laughs> so, Robbie, I mean, he is a uh, character. Um, Mikey and Robbie, what's the, what are the pros and cons of, I guess, for you, Mikey, dating a celebrity, and Robbie, for you, dating for someone who's not exactly in showbiz? Pros and cons. Are there cons? I guess for me, the what? cons are what I said earlier, the bashing or the being compared or um, when people, I guess, yeah, say things about me or about us when they don't really know anything. Yeah. So more of that, um, he's a host and also at least he's not an actor. If he was an actor, I probably wouldn't date him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why? What if si Papa P, Mikey? No pa rin. <laughs> no pa rin kahit. <laughs> Ako, iiwan kita para kay Piolo. <laughs> Well, a lot be, of an exception. <laughs> Just kidding. A lot of people yeah. would. <laughs> so I see them and his um what he does as as work. Like it's really his work, it's part of his life. So Yeah. I wouldn't really think of it any except for the the fun part. Yeah. How about you, Robbie? How about no no cons at all? <laughs> Maybe it's a certain uh Rather than saying a con, uh, pressure, but the good kind of pressure, especially coming from her family. Her family is so nice, um, and um, you have to. I learned how to dress properly during events <laughs> because of her family, oh. and to oh, I have lots of stories to share, especially. Tell us one. Tell us oh, one. Like, it was the most memorable. <laughs> oh my gosh! So it was the. <laughs> It was what do you call that? Kamalahikan of uh, Mikey's tito, and then um, the attire was, parang ano lang, uh, wear it colored. Nice hotel. It was hmm. in a nice hotel. Okay. <laughs> wear something uh, for uh, semi formal, okay. Semi-formal. Smart casual. Smart casual. Smart, smart casual. Sorry, smart casual. Smart casual yeah. And. <laughs> In my head, smart casual means may nakapolo, di ba? Yung uh, ganito yung mga at, ano eh, atinista eh. Smart casual, nakapolo, may watch, okay na yan. So, <laughs> I, came, I came in the venue. Naka, nakapolo, a watch. Tattered jeans. No! <laughs> you know, um, the, the family uh, was there. Uh, naka smart cash so that is what smart casual looks like <laughs> naka, naka good jacket naka coat uh, may tie pa di ba tapos 
Uh, oh, no. just, the, just the groom and the, the dad. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing is, I have a closet sa kotse. <laughs> Meron kang jeans na hindi tattered. Meron akong full suit. So, akala, oh. akala ko ako yung kakasal eh. Ako yung <laughs> namamanhikan eh. Nung umakit ako, sorry, like, ush, ayos. Uh, so, the family was like, mm, last mo na yan ha. Mm, pero good job. Uy, na ba? Ikaw full suit. Ay, ba? Ano sa kong full suit? We're ready. That's a pro for being a celebrity. I think you have a closet with you. Yeah, but um, siguro, oh, another, another pro yeah. is... I get to know about the real world uh, through Mikey's eyes, and I get to share like good information to other people because of her. So she would tell me about, "Oh, ganti yung stocks ngayon. This is the um, yung nangyari sa finances, and then there's geopolitics." Yeah, ako naman in my line of work. Oh, to be clear, do you know? About the geopolicies of uh, this one of Europe, okay. So na kaip na pa impress pa iba. And abaw ko naman kay Mikey. Um, may ano ako sa yon? Blind item ako. And that's what she loves. Oh, yeah. oh, oh Mikey that's loves that. That's a, Mikey loves oh, the blind item. Oh. That's that's a pro. I get all the showbiz uh, showbiz cheesemies. She's <laughs> early. <laughs> I love the showbiz cheese. No. I have, I have another, I have another pro pala that I just thought of. Something more meaningful than showbiz cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, because since Robbie, the man of course, has a big following, a lot of people know him. So, um, there are certain like, I would say, advocacies or, parang good things that. We want to like influence to people. We want to be a good influence to people. So we kind of, I kind of use him as a voice sometimes too, like with voters registration or maybe if there's any like donation drives or just anything. Environmental yeah. sustainability. Or, and, that's environmental oh. issues too. Yeah. So it's nice that I can somewhat influence him, or when he can influence like all these people. Which I would think is a pro, so uh, a more meaningful pro <laughs> than <laughs> than Shobi's cheese So yeah, that's yeah. like that's like. Sorry, it's like I still like the blind items. I know. Some of the blind <laughs> items, although yes, blind <laughs> that's that's a that is a more yeah, important. I'll share something with you later. So you both are in different worlds, right? In um mm-hmm. different careers. How do you two support each other? Um well me actually I'm very supportive of him because I do enjoy um but like kind of also like what I said earlier that I, he's like the voice that he I help him kind of be a good influence to others and be able to do more actionable things um, and I and me also enjoying the entertainment media industry I I do help him a lot like especially with his YouTube channel so that's I was the <laughs> I don't know why. I just I told him like one day I think we should we should go digital. This was in 2018. We should go digital, and then we should try doing you know YouTube videos and all that. At first he was hesitant, but then he eventually like listened and was open to it. And then we started doing it, and then uh, we were conceptualizing videos together, and it really also helped him in terms of like. He has a digital presence, so there are brands that know him, or like he has a following already. And it's been two years since we started that, and now we have 900,000 subscribers. Crazy, <laughs> yeah. amazing. Wow. That's so, so cool. Yeah. All thanks, all yeah. thanks um, uh, to my manager. Which, Mikey. Mikey. Manager. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess I support him in that way as I'm also a semi manager. But no, it's nice that we get to like come up with ideas together and we conceptualize and then we kind of, you know, make it happen. We make it work, whether it's yeah. an advocacy or a YouTube video. And now we also have a, a Kumu show together. So um, it's been like a nice journey. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's kind of me supporting him. Also, was him supporting me because we did yeah. it together. Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, same. Oh, okay. I, I would say kasi, <laughs> it's hard uh, for me to um, support her in terms of her work, especially especially in terms of the finance world. Because uh, health sciences, ako eh. <laughs> Kaya nga ako kinag management eh, because of the numbers and all. But um, we found our world, siguro, doon sa YouTube and uh, Kumu component as you know uh, as creators of that channel and that certain show. So and yeah, I also I heard support. Think, yeah, he was also so even if I was working in um, a finance, of course, and he well doesn't really know much about it. Um, I and I appreciated that he would uh, show up in my office. And my office is in Makati, <laughs> and he comes from Quezon City, so he would, LDR. Show up, mm-hmm. he would show up in the office and then bring milk, bring milk tea for everyone, or bring in the office. Everyone in the office in my office. Yes. Wow, Galinga. that's a good. Move. Yeah, so nice. I was able to Sweet move. get to know them also because, of course, that's that's part of my life, right? So uh, it's, it's still my work. So, and then he would even even with his like super busy schedule, he made time to. Um, show up in our Christmas parties <laughs> and then hang out with my office mates. So I think that's a nice support in terms of when it comes to my corporate work. <laughs> Which I enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to say, Philip, you all know the reason why we met. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Rob, did he know? Oh. Bad you guys. Yes. So that Viola Christmas party why we met. was. Um, the party na dapat hindi ako pupunta because we finished so late. We finished so late during the Christmas, uh, ABS-CBN Christmas special. And then, I just told, you know, my bosses, Papa P, na, uh, uwi na po ako after this in Araneta kasi, pagod na eh. Tagal na, anong oras na 11? And then, Papa P called me up. Sabi niya, mahiya ka naman. Pumunta ka naman sa mga boss mo. Just uh, have that certain um, gratitude to come up right here. Say thank you for all the blessings that you have received. Okay, bye. I'll see you. It's like, oh. So, if you're gonna ask kung sino mataray sa amin, I think it's Piolo. <laughs> Papa P. Papa P. So, it's like, okay, sige. Akit ako. And then, yeah. And I connect na story. And then, that's how we met. Thanks to Papa, Papa P. Thank you, Papa, Papa P. P. Maybe you and I can... Love and joke. <laughs> Actually, my real show is Were you each other's types early on? When you guys met each other? And also, what is your type? Talaga? <laughs> he was... I didn't think of him as my type, uh-huh. but I also don't know if I have a type. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. how, how, how about your How about your hobby? To me, Chinita. Eh. Type. Oh. Yeah, Chinita. But uh, I came to a conclusion na type ko basta me- medyo singkit. Eh, palagi naman tulog si Mikey, so. <laughs> <laughs> and always smiling, so. Okay, so yeah. It's always like that. Ayaw, ganun. Okay. So, medyo type. Automatic. So, I'm, type. Not his, I'm not his type also. We were not really mm. each other's type. Unless tulog ka. But you know, <laughs> I don't know if it's because you guys have been together for three years now or something, but you know when couples tend to be together for a long time, they kind of start looking similar. I don't know if it's the computer that I'm looking at. Oh, really? You guys kind of look alike. You Swear get, to God, naman, the mukha ko boss ko. Have you heard oh. that before? Now you guys kind of have similarities. Yeah, yeah. We could have mentioned it um, before. I think we spend so much time with each other that we pick up each other's mannerisms. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. It's, it's like evolved. <laughs> I don't think they look alike. I think they look both nice. You know what I mean? Like, very pleasant. Wow. That's why they start to... She's in Bhutan. She's in Bhutan now. She's in Bhutan now. Really? I'll just give her to Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. 
<laughs> okay, I'm, okay. I, you're obviously both very nice, but I want to know if there's something that annoys you about each other. It's not perfect all the time, right? Can't be. He, he can be very slow. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 Because, yep. like I said earlier, he's also uh, vain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, it takes you longer to get ready, Robbie. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not Even really. But I, I am slow in terms also, of. Uh, he's also very slow. <laughs> yeah, eating, walking. I don't know. I, I, I take my time. I appreciate the present. Yeah. Wow. Just the way. Just the way. Yeah. But, uh, okay. Why, why the rush? But enjoy. Relax. Relax, girl. Okay. No. So what okay. annoys you? What walks annoys you naman about Mikey, Robbie? Well, it's not all the time. But um, <laughs> when she believes in something, I think it's the Taurus in her. Oh, oh like Shari is a Taurus. Okay, yeah. Strong and stubborn. Mm-hmm. Strong personality. And if you believe in something, even if it, it hurts other people, <laughs> oh. uh, you would go, oh, you would go yes. with that oh. one. You <laughs> see, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that that New York trip. Oh, it's gonna. Oh, New York no. What happened? Let me share that New York. walking slow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I was walking slow because okay, mm-hmm. uh, we had this uh, free photo shoot. Care of Sweet Escape. Sweet Escape. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Good photos. Sweet Escape, di ba? Nice New York, photos. Brooklyn. <laughs> and then uh, the Sweet Escape people said, um, uh, you can have like three, four lay- layouts. It's like, okay, okay, we'll take that opportunity. And then at moment, eh, Brooklyn Bridge, Binsan Kalang sa New York. And then I told Mike, Mike's um, three layouts, so total of guro mga six to eight outfits tayo for wardrobe change. Um, I'll bring the suitcase na lang. Okay? And she was like, don't bring the suitcase. It doesn't look good. Parang... <laughs> no, I just said it was so big. I said it was so, so big. big. Parang, you, you were saying something pa na, baka maano ka dyan kasi you look like, like a trader or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, naman. But but it, was big, it was a big maleta, basically. <laughs> I was like, uh-huh. okay. Um, so what should I bring? No, no, no. Bring this duffel bag. Oh my gosh! Ang bigat, ang daming dala. <laughs> daming dala talaga ng duffel bag. So, uh, eto pa, um, we had that certain steak experience in uh, Peter Luger. Peter Luger. And yeah. medyo, sabi ko, uh, from Peter Luger to Brooklyn, eh, ano na lang yan eh, konting walk. Konting walk daw. According to the New Yorkers. Eh, hindi naman ako New Yorker. Ang, ang haba pala ng konting walk na yun. <laughs> Sa kabilang, kabilang banda, kabilang isla pala yun. So, may bit-bit ka pa. <laughs> nilakad namin, may bit-bit ako. And then she was asking me, kasi sabi, ko, sabi niya, do you wanna take the, the cab? And I was like, no, nasa New York tayo, you have to experience everything. Ganyan, ganyan. Tsaka, maaga pa naman. But I was so pissed na during that time. <laughs> Bigat ng dala ko, and then she was asking me, "You want me to carry it?" No, no, no. It's okay. I'm okay. <laughs> but that was so mad. It's so big, talaga. I know. But, you know, bad. based on your photos, though, hindi halata na maiyat na yung ulo ni Robbie or bigat na bigat sa bag. So they were it good photos. Like... It was like close to breaking up. <laughs> really? <laughs> so okay, so let's speak about that, about little arguments again. What are your fighting styles? Let's say bigat na bigat sa pag bibit bit bit niya. Paano kayo nag-aaway? I think Muay Thai. <laughs> That's your fighting style. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Si Mikey, pero hindi ka. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, Mikey, the jitsu yan. Lakas yan. <laughs> Grip yan si Mikey. Fighting styles. Um, we both, both just quiet. shut down. Yeah, we both shut down. Um, okay. Mm. You don't want. Okay. Ah, get it. Because you don't want to talk to you. Bah, da. And then who gives? Who's the one who's sorry first? Uh-huh. Of course, me. 
Okay. <laughs> Tama yan. <laughs> yeah. Kampa I don't naman stay mad long also. So, it, it's just like a brief moment of like, okay, let's just be quiet first. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I think that is sometimes it's better like just being quiet first versus now you're like, you were you were nagwawala yeah. in the streets that you you know. One thing that I learned about. Sinkana hanap ng garon cherry na nagawa sa streets. Madami uso yon. Madami. Madami kaya. It does um it does help to just kind of be quiet. Sometimes people even leave the room rather than you know immediately yelling at each other i'm yeah. curious robbie and mikey about um we just had an episode about insecurities and i want to know in your um in in your relationship have you had any that you've shared with each other that you really struggled with and how did you deal with it i have a lot i, I have, a lot. have a lot <laughs> what are yeah. some of them just to because like when people message us they feel so ashamed to be sharing some of their insecurities and i always tell them like sherry and i always go everyone has insecurities yeah. and it's so normal but for you guys could you share some um i know you said you're a lot maybe one or two or and how you guys deal with it i told uh, this to her before um that Uh, there was a time that I was super insecure with her circles, with her barakada. Because um, there were certain relationships in that barakada which were hindi naman maintained, but um, they, they remained friends. Uh, parang she, she's close to different circles na andun yung mga excess niya and that made me so uncomfortable and in nga, I, I do my part naman to get to know everyone so whenever there are certain events like Christmas parties celebrations I see them all the time and then what should I do should I act cool or kapansinin ko ba or uh, cheers ba kami kakanta ba ako with, with that guy <laughs> so you know but you know I, I had to just tell her that one and uh, she keeps on telling me um that that that's uh that's one of the reasons why past na siya eh. so naka move on na ako Maka, yeah. sana maka move on ka na rin for me <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah uh for me naman i think mine is more of um i guess compared to him he has a lot of like confidence he's not afraid to especially be in, like, in front of people and he also knows what he wants and loves to do in life <laughs> in terms of you know his career at least um, so coming from someone who is not super sure yet about what I want to do or want to really focus on and still in the transition of figuring it out I guess it would be nice if I can also feel as confident and as sure as him so but I tell him and then Um, he helps me. He he makes me more confident. Like he, at the start of our dating life, he's made me do things that I would usually be afraid of doing, or like I would say no to right away. So it, doing things like that that he would initiate or like invite me to, and I'd be game. It kind of helps, like slowly. You know, you accomplish something, some small wins yeah. to get to, to feel a little more confident and less afraid. So that's how he helps me, Naman. This is probably my most kilig moment when people mm. know how to deal with their insecurities because I think that's hard. And then when you push each other, like, oh, let's say, Robbie, you're going to tell her, can you try to do this? And I will make you more confident. I think that's so mm. nice. Yeah. And in the process... <laughs> like this, I wouldn't normally do this. <laughs> in the process, um, that is how we... That is how I got to ask her to be official. Because of that certain, oh, uh, because of that certain, uh, um, not leap lang, pero that diving experience. I was trying to get her have that certain confidence to face, you know, um, her fear her fears <laughs> and fear of jaws. So we got how, her. How did you ask her? We invited her. So I had this um, program called Nakpochero, and they required me to. Uh, get a license for diving, and so I did. 
And then I told her about that one. Sabi niya, she's afraid of sharks and Jaws. You know what happened to Jaws? Come on. <laughs> Don't worry. That will not happen to you. <laughs> and then I invited her over to Anilao, had some lessons. And then eventually, when uh, it was parang the time na for her to get her certificate, parang there was, um, what do you call that one? There was uh, the final dive. Before you get your card, okay. Mm-hmm. We, I, I just asked her, under the sea. <laughs> How? <laughs> so I was like, uh, it's, it's very you know, know. like, like, <laughs> syempre, you got your regulator, you know? It's like, mm, 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 mm. I'm cute. <laughs> I'm cute. I'm cute. Why then, did you uh, super cute? I did, I did together. I did, yeah, I did together. Okay. And then, um, yun. Then it was like, okay. Okay. Uh, and then it's like, oh, nice. I'm cute. That is good. I like that. that is, okay, so, you know, Robbie, Mikey, and Bea, we're in the tender age of 31. 30, 31. Really? So, yeah, 31. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but Bea, Bea and I get asked a lot about when are you gonna get married? Blah blah blah. We don't have a boyfriend, but when are you gonna get married? How about the two of you? <laughs> Do people pressure you about marriage? Uh, I wouldn't say the man pressure. Well, definitely not from my family. <laughs> I don't think they want me to get married yet, especially since I'm the only one left. Yeah. Sam- Sammy's married and has two kids. <laughs> Um, yeah. More, yeah. I don't think I ever felt the man pressured to get married. Maybe it's more of the show women's um, body clock and timeline thing that I have to like consider in my head. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really get to us, but we do talk about it. So I think that helps him that we really know our stand <laughs> on it. Okay. We're, we're planners, eh? especially. Yeah. Um, we have been discussing actually uh, about certain certain lots already, uh, investments yeah. in the future, um, babies' names. No, just kidding, just kidding. No. Oh. <laughs> Robbie has it all planned out. Robbie has it all planned out. Yeah, just we're just in a planning phase, but not rushing it. I don't think we're uh, there yet. So, mm-hmm. yeah. We just okay. have this basic answer of like, oh, in a few years. <laughs> yeah, especially not right now with the uh, pandemic. I mean, I got lots yeah. of friends that um, got uh, had had their ceremonies already, kinasal, and I would ask them all the time, uh, why, <laughs> why during COVID? And then one answer got to me actually coming from Neil Reyes, and he said, "Love chooses no time." If you love someone, you know, go for it. It's like, no, oh, it's totally man. But we we love guests, so <laughs> <laughs> we want our reception. How are you gonna be... host, Robbie? Robbie, are you gonna host your own? He oh. wants. He wants to host. He wants to host. He's How are you gonna host, host your own wedding? <laughs> I got it. Go it. He has this okay. idea in his head, but I told him you can only do the first part. The rest of the party, no. <laughs> He's gonna record himself like before. Like, yes, something like that. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, introducing himself in a video <laughs> and then he shows up. <laughs> no. Puede, why not? Who else? Sayang eh. Sayang. You can, you can pay <laughs> yourself. You can pay yourself. or tequila. It's eh, pa Exactly. Oh, reallocate. You'll be tequila on your wedding for sure. Um, guys, I, this is a bit of a controversial question. I'm really curious what you think about living together before marriage in the Philippines. Obviously, a lot of parents are against it. What do you guys think? Um, and, you know, the other side, Shari and I have discussed this. People think living together will actually make you and then get married faster no, people, or, people or get to like, know someone. Sorry, I'm a people bit People think living, living in together um prepares you for marriage but really it's the opposite statistics show that people who live together are actually more likely to divorce dark statistic but then that's a statistic really? yeah, yeah oh thank you for telling us uh, that data at least 
At least hindi na kayo mag-elevate. Okay, meron okay, kaming so, uh, no, sabi no. no. But um, I get her, ano naman, uh, some nitty-gritty habits of Mikey. Parang nakukuha ko naman and I know how to adjust completely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I don't agree if, with living together. <laughs> I will, I'm, I'm very conservative, so I would do the more traditional, <laughs> traditional way. Nothing wrong with with um, people who do it, but I'm just more traditional in that sense. And I would and, also. And, uh, it's a showcase of um, respect to the family. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Are you also more traditional, the traditional type, Robbie? Yep. Actually, I my mom's here. Hi, ma. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, very traditional. And uh, actually, the other day I was just telling my mom about certain lots na potential kung san san kami titira. And then she got so emotional already. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think yung plan no na magpakasal. Medyo, ma-delay. Ma-delay pa rin. Pero, yeah. um, if you're asking about the date, I don't know. But, yeah. uh, will it happen? I'm sure it will. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? Ito, ganun. Okay. Okay. Add to the decline. Ayun, nakakakilig. <laughs> Okay. Tanong naman siya sa water again, ha? And diving. Ganun oh, na eh. <laughs> guys, maybe you guys wanna get married underwater. Di ba uso yan? Bea, alam mo. Hirap? <laughs> Gusto mo na nilang guest, eh. Bea. Ang mga guest nila sa ilalim. Everyone has to ask your guest. Pero sa ceremony, it's like you're walking down the water, like the aisle. <laughs> and Sir Paolo can, like, Anyways, if just an idea. Career, oh, that that Bea, if there's a career that Bea cannot do, it's a wedding plan. <laughs> wedding plan. <laughs> okay, so Robbie and Mikey, we are a show about love, you know. So our last question here is, what is love? Huh. It's love. Chat. Hard question. Everybody gets stumped when we when we ask them yeah. this question. It's so hard to explain. It's like different definitions, but I don't want to be cheesy. I want to say her, but it's it's what she. It, it's what she. <laughs> yeah, nala. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, seriously. <laughs> I, thought... <laughs> I told you this is why at some point. <laughs> <laughs> even actually, even if we play um like uh, games like games. Mobile Legends or Pokemon Unite, I would just blurt out something and then she would say, "Ah, cheesy ka kadiri." It's like a kadiri pa yung kileg. I would I would rather appreciate I, I appreciate this with this more. So you can just keep doing it, even if I get annoyed. I would still rather have this. <laughs> You get annoyed, Mikey. Are these so, you kind of like it, then? She loves it. Come on. Yeah, yeah of course. I mean, it's still sweet and feeling, but he just does it so often. Like, like <laughs> how do you come up with these lines so quickly? Okay. What's your favorite line that he's ever said to you? Now you were like, okay, that was that was a good one. Kidding. <laughs> oh, the, that's one of the first um, things he said to me. Oh, this is a story also for you guys. Um, we weren't, we were just getting know, to know each other. This was like January, so after the whole Christmas um, party. And then I was like, you know, like, we were getting to know each other. It was okay, man, but I wasn't so sure yet. Um, so I was going to work in the morning and then I get this video from him. So that week we weren't really talking to each other because he had to climb Mount Apo <laughs> for a show. So he was climbing Mount Apo for like three days. There's no signal or anything. But I guess for some reason, he was able to find signal somewhere in the top of the mountain. <laughs> and then he sent, <laughs> yeah, he sent me a video of him on top of the mountain. And then, so he was showing us like, oh, I'm here. And it's like, what did he say? 
parang I, I wish you were here. You were here oh. with me, and I was like, oh. so I kept watching it over and over again. <laughs> 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 real. But yeah, I think that was the first time in the first line. So that would be the one. How about you, Robbie? Has Mikey said something that you were like, oh, kidding? Yung hi every morning. It, it promise, <laughs> promise. It may be so simple to other people, mm-hmm. but whenever mm-hmm. even yung two, ano lang, two characters na HI, mm-hmm. I would just imagine her saying hi. Like, huh? <laughs> I sound like I, sound I, I remember. Like, I sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but ano, I, I remember uh, the person behind that one. So maybe. Uh, that that's that that is what love is um a showcase of a showcase and uh siguro she she continuously redefines what love is all the time to me it sometimes <laughs> is so sweet and uh, sometimes it may hurt but for me it's growth all the time i think Love is when someone makes an effort to make another person feel happy or ah, you're just better. <laughs> Go ahead. I really like what you're saying yeah. though, Mikey. I I mean I'm trying, I'm trying to form it. Like love is when a person shows or makes an effort to another person to show that to what to make her him or her feel happy and to show that he cares whether it's difficult or not they'll still make the effort to do what they can to make them smile <laughs> this is love in all forms too not just the relationship because yeah. the other love definition in my head was like my dog <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sherry, so, Sherry, oh. please show your can dog. You, can you show? Because uh, say there was a time that I was so. My dog is here, so that's what I thought of. He it's always, always makes me happy, so it's love in all forms. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Second place, like, no. I, I know, I know. Close second, the Mansana. But the, um, <laughs> I had my phone before. I showed it to her. Kanta, wallpaper, Mikey. Ganda ni Mikey uh, wallpaper. I, I just got a, a new one, kaya hindi ko na palitan. Pero can you show them your wallpaper right now? The dog. The dog. <laughs> Let me just clear the notifications. <laughs> hmm? How do I clear the notifications? Just to prove my point. Kung oh, yeah. sino talaga mahal mo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close second. Yeah. <laughs> He mm-hmm. is super cute. Darcy, the ba? Super cute. Yeah, he's been here sleeping beside me. So when I thought of love, I thought of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's Darcy. Yeah. Love is Darcy. Makes, no, but Robbie makes me happy and he's, he's always there, even when it's the most difficult, even when it's like a three hour car ride just to get to our LDR <laughs> relationship in COVID. I think that already speaks, I mean, says everything. That is I like. <laughs> yes. that is he is good also. Thank yeah. you. That was so Thank great. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Love it. That's my ano. Ano ba tawag yan? <laughs> Love. Um, Love high um, sound. That was great. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Every they time I love high like, sound. Okay. I'm like so. They always like this. Kapag we're talking to like successful couples, she's always like, wala. <laughs> I shall use that next time. <laughs> Love high sound. Yeah, oh. it's like oh my god, this is the best. Love it, but I'm excited for you guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And mm-hmm. if I have one piece of advice for you guys, sure. Bea, do not do the underwater wedding. Sometimes we Sometimes after. I mean, guys, come on, I'll send you photos. It happens. <laughs> okay. Thank Wala you, guys. Ring. Lumutang yun sa ring. I know. May mga contacts sa ring. Lose the ring. Okay. 
I'm gonna send it to you, Mikey. Think about it. Think about okay. it. Okay, so that was such a cute interview, right, Bea? I saw you were kilig na kilig again. So tell me, what was your main takeaway from our little interview? Um, my main takeaway is that you really need to support each other no matter what. So just shows you that Mikey does so much for Robbie and Robbie does so much for Mikey and there is no obstacle. Pag gusto, gusto. <laughs> Yan ang and number one. Kung ayaw, may dahilan. Hindi <laughs> right? mga lessons in life. Parang hugot ka dyan. But yeah, our intrigue about. But anyways, that was really fun. That was yeah. Fun. Yeah, my main takeaway would be the little things count. Um, you know, the small little highs, na, you know, cute. Those things matter. So the big things and the little things, they all matter, guys. So, you know, stay in your stroke lang. You know, appreciate the little things as much as the big <laughs> things. That's my, that's my main takeaway. Hi. Oh, hi. 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 <laughs> hi. <laughs> 